hello everyone we're going to learn more about these operators in this video and more ways to use for now instead of saying i is equal to i plus 5 i can simply say i plus equal to 5 this would mean the same thing the value of i to be added with the actual value of i plus 5 so now if i simply say comma i so that we know what's happening while this is printing out let me just do it on a new line I'll save this I'll comment this out as of now and I'll run this you can see hello 5 hello 10 and hello 15 this is the value of i i is initially 5 then i becomes 10 then i becomes 15 and once i becomes 20 this condition is true so it breaks so this is about <clears throat> incrementing now what if we want to decrement we can also decrement inside the for loop by simply saying j minus minus but if i do it over here this will run out infinitely because j will be initially 0 then j will be minus 1 then it will be minus 2 it will never be greater than 10 so i have to set the condition accordingly as well now instead of saying j is less than or instead of even saying j is equal to 0 i can say j is equal to 10 and now i'll say j is greater than 0 which means it has to be a positive number this will run as long as it is a positive number to explain what's happening here you can simply see that when the j prints out when i run this code we'll first see hello 5 10 5 and after that we see the j value from here hello 10 i'll use a different one hello j now we'll see that initially the value of j is 10 then it becomes 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and after 1 j becomes 0 now if i <clears throat> i cannot use j outside this scope this is also called as variable scope now as i am declaring it over here inside the for i cannot use it outside if i say fmt dot print j this will give me an error because j doesn't exist outside it will say undefined so i cannot use j over here but you can understand that j, j the value of j has become zero which is not greater than zero hence the loop exists but in this case we can see what's happening now we have declared the variable outside and now if i say let, let me use the decrement operator again now let me say sum is initially 10 as long as sum is greater than zero print sum so now we can see it will show 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 it stops at 1 now if i see the what the value of sum is outside the loop because i'm declaring the variable outside so i can use sum over here and i'll see that the value is 0 you'll see that the last value is 0 now i simply also type in here to make it more understandable so if i run this we can see that up till here we have the loop and after that the loop exits and we see here zero this is how we can use the decrement op operator the decrement operator simply means j is equal to j minus one if i write this inside the loop this will happen twice so the loop will iterate only half times because once it enters j is 10 now immediately j is 9 because it decrements here and once it reaches the end of iteration it decrements again to check what's happening i'll just comment comment out the rest and we can see what's happening over here okay now if i run this code we'll see that we see a two decrement nine seven five three one if we want to achieve this we can also do it over here we can simply say j is equal to j minus two 
if you want a decrement by 2 I'll remove this and if I do this or j I could also say j minus equal to 2 but for now I'll use this and decrement we'll get the we'll get similar output but it will decrement by 2 because initially it is 10 so it will be 10 8 6 4 2 here in the above case we had j equal to 10 but I decremented it in my first line of iteration so we see 9 directly we never see 10 but here this loop enters with the j value of 10 once the iteration ends it decrements it by 2 I hope you are getting the difference here this happens in the end of iteration this decrement but if I do it inside over here then it happens before and I could do the same thing with increments too I can simply say j is equal to j plus 2 so this will increment j value by 1 I will make this 0 again and I will say less than 10 so this should print out 0, 2, 4, 6 in that order as you can see I will run this code as you can see over here j, j 0, j 2, j 4, j 6, j 8 and then we have j 10 which is not less than 10 so the loop exits this should be all for this video thank you for watching